Hey guys, so this is not clickbait and I totally don't know why I didn't record me walking the paper there. I just was like, you know what, let me just do it and not live in fear and live in power of Christ. You guys, I just put my two week notice in and I'm like freaking out now that I did it because my clinic administrator wasn't in her office. So I just put it on her desk. So I don't know. And then I put one on my boss's desk, the position I work for. And I'm just like so nervous right now. But I don't know why, because it's like God's going to take care of me. Like, I'm going to be OK. OK, you guys, so it is the next morning. Um, I'm at home about to get ready to go to work. As you can see, I put in my two week notice yesterday. But actually, very shortly after I put in my notice, I kind of got called into my boss's office with my boss and my clinic administrator. And they both actually said that they don't want me to leave. Like, can you believe it? Like, God, God is so good. So they both said they don't want me to leave. And they offered me two positions. They're like, you can even take a part-time position here or a PRN position, but it'll be up to you. But we really would prefer if you didn't leave. Like, What's up you guys, it is Kari and YI and welcome back to another video. So you guys, before I start this video, I just wanna go ahead and apologize for the lighting. Um, The sun is just, well, the sun's really not coming up. It looks like it's gonna be a cloudy day, which is okay. And I cannot find the like plug-in for my ring light, so I can't turn it on right now because I have no idea where that plug-in thing is. I have my iPhone plug-in, but you guys know the new ones they make, they don't have the regular UP, UBS plug. <laughs> We do not care. Anywho, so I'm sure you guys are looking at the title of the video and they're like, OMG, what does this mean for the content on this channel? What is going on? So the title is correct. I did go ahead and put in a notice for my medical assisting job. And the main reason why, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys for you speculate, it has nothing to do with my job. I actually really like my job and I love the position that I work for. Like, it's a pretty chill, pretty easy job. I really like it. But I have said this on my channel before. Although being a medical assistant was a good stepping stone for me and great in a great way of gaining clinical experience, it is not my end goal in life. If that is your end goal and that's what you want, that's fine. We need medical assistance. We need more people working, <coughs> working in the medical field. And as you can see in my videos, medical assistants do so much and you guys are truly needed in healthcare. But I just like have, I feel like I have a calling to go farther, finish my bachelor's degree and become, and you guys, this is my first time standing on this channel, become a doctor. I'm really not that interested in PA school anymore just because honestly, you guys, I've been through so much. I feel like I'm fighting. I feel like I'm in a fight and I don't want to just settle. Like not that PA settle. Some people truly just want to be a PA, but I feel like I might as well just go all the way to medical school. So, anywho, when I went to quit my job, my clinic administrator, she was not in her office, so I just left the note on her desk. But then she ended up sending me a message, like basically, let's come talk. So I talked to her and my boss about it, and they both agreed that they really didn't want me to leave. That's one of the things I really like about my job. Like, it's really chill. And I think I do a pretty good job. So we ended up working out a, P a PRN arrangement if you're not in the medical field, PRN stands for as needed. I know that's a weird abbreviation for as needed, but yeah, so that means I can pick up shifts at any time, especially if they have people going on vacation and they need someone to cover. Um, as of right now, I am going to be doing Saturdays as a phlebotomy tech. If you guys aren't aware, when I got my medical assistant license, I also became a certified phlebotomy technician. I had to take a whole separate test to do that, but I did. So i'm certified to do phlebotomy but because of the facility that i work at them having their own lab and sending patients there i really have not done any phlebotomy like all year so it's kind of making me nervous that on saturdays because the saturdays they only they're only open for a few hours and patients have to make appointments and there's usually just one person drawing and all that so it's making me nervous that i'm going to be there kind of basically by myself and just drawing it's not the drawing part that makes me nervous. I know I can draw blood. It's the 
knowing what color tubes to use and stuff like that kind of stuff you have to stay refreshed on or you will forget and since i have not been working in a lab i basically forgot that so i am going to have to go through and see what color tubes to use for what test i'm going to be medical assisting for one day a week so basically i'm working two days a week one day as a medical assistant the other day as a phlebotomy technician but i might not even do that every saturday so basically i'm not really working i'm just focusing on school right now and what does that mean for content um you guys i am still gonna try and get some medical assistant content some vlogs i may even do some phlebotomy vlogs if possible but at the end of the day i do have to you know focus on my future and right now my future is getting into medical school that's what i'm focused on so i will be doing college vlogs um biology major vlogs um stuff like that and if you guys aren't interested honestly just go ahead and unsubscribe like it won't hurt me that much well it'll hurt because i like you guys but you know it is what it is at this point if you guys do have any other friends that are going to medical assistance school or thinking about becoming a medical assistant school go ahead and share my channel and let them know about it so they can watch and see the vlogs and see if it's something that interests them but if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can be a part of the mighty mob and i'll catch you guys in my next video